Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Last Minute Rundown. I'm Divi and Dario. And today we're going to be talking about the mother of fucking vampire hellhole versus match. What is going on? We have Dio Brando versus Alucard. And Jesus Christ, I cannot fucking wait. Um, He's right. a fuck mothering vampire. Oh, yeah. This, is, this fight will be legendary. This is a legendary fight. I cannot wait. All right. Enough of the annoying fanboying. Um, so we're going to be honest. We know enough about Alucard. We don't know jack about Dio. Other than the freaking memes. Like, like, goddamn. <clears throat> he thought it was this, but it was I, Dio. Yeah, and uh, first of all, we had to figure out under, figure out how he became a vampire in the first place. And not the traditional way. Hell, he's not even a traditional vampire. He doesn't, he basically had to use that weird mask to just to like give up his humanity and break his uh, uh like mortal limitation or something like that like it isn't like a direct vampire change it was it was just like a more specific type of thing he just happens to have fangs and can drain blood except not with his fangs but with his freaking fingers Be like i don't know he was reminding me more of the fucking androids instead of a vampire <laughs> Ugh. that being said good god he just this wants guy yeah, he, yes, he does. This guy is a freak of nature, and that's putting it lightly. And listen, okay, so Death Battle already stated some stuff already about him, and a lot of them alone are pretty outrageous abilities to begin with, besides the fact that he is... So he got hit... Originally, he started off not being able to use a stand, and obviously was human, but then he figured out the, the vamp vampirism and this is how he got his stand he basically had to take his severed head on the dead body of his former rival so he can so he so he can muster the power through his blood what the fuck is this show it's a confusing thing that i choose not to get into i know right? but now i kind of i'm now i'm interested like, what is... Eric. No, no, no. <clears throat> anyway, so this guy Stan, uh, Za Walto, or the world, for all normal people that are not weeaboos. Za Walto! Um, <laughs> basically stops time, but only for a limited amount of time. He's still there. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, basically. Hell, they even made him do that joke in Bridge. I actually forgot about that. <laughs> um, so yeah, but even then, it has a limit to some to some degree. And I would say it has like it takes like a few seconds, but it might as well be fucking freeze a seconds because they'll be talking for like a minute saying, "Ah, you have five more seconds left before this." Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, motherfucker, you could have flew around the earth already in that sentence. Shut up. <laughs> Oh yeah, and he can fly. That's another thing because of his vampiric powers. Um, let's see. Going off topic. Uh, on top of all this craziness. Um, so, aside from stopping time, uh, draining people's blood with his fingers, and just being just outright goddamn evil, there's also another ability that we found out about him that actually kind of makes us a little concerned for Alucard. Uh, apparently there and was what is it called? The World Over Heaven. So the Over Heaven edition is basically a literal angelic upgrade uh, to your uh, to the user's stand and help to the user in general. Um, and to obtain this, the short answer is basically all the all the body parts of Christ. You fucking heard me. Um, and how many souls? 32, 36, something random like 36. that. 36. Probably right. 36 souls. Yeah, and 36 freaking souls. Yep, 36 souls to uh, activate it. And once activated, ha act gives you ability, well, gives the stand an ability called, one second, what was it called? This ridiculous freak. Oh, yeah. Reality, Reality overwrite. overwrite. Who writes this shit? Well, I'm gonna. I can just look it up in a second. But seriously, basically, he can rewrite any 
point in time and basically cause a butterfly effect just from that ripple. He could just... And, and by doing it, he has to throw a punch to activate it because JoJo. <clears throat> but yeah. And then whenever he beats his victims, I know it's already a recurring thing but, but with him, but uh, he can steal and absorb the souls of them and use them as slaves for himself. Similar to what Alucard can do that we'll get to in a bit. But yeah. Basically, all this guy has to do and once he activates this power is just... I don't know, rewrite Vlad f from ever being born for all we fucking know. And then that's it. No Alucard. That being said, without that ability, I really think he's just another fucking artificial vampire like the Nazis were using. Uh, I mean, he technically is in their own sense. No different to how they were making them. None of them were traditional vampires. They were actually... Um, uh, 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 like blood subjects of um, uh, Dracula's wife, but that's another story. But it's literally no different. I'm not sure if Dio could take him on, but unless he has the override ability, um, we have a problem. That being said, let's jump over to Alucard, because... Oh boy, he better pick up here, but... Let's say, because... um. The deal, unless they give him that ability at like the very beginning, it's gonna be hard for him to obtain Here's the during thing. the fight. Like I feel like him having that ability it should also mean that Alucard should have a uh, Schrodinger's ability, which would also be a, an interesting paradox of itself. Because he basically is and isn't. He's already two realities in one existence. How, and how do you and how do you rewrite something that is uncertain? You have to be certain that it exists. Are we a bad person? So I think I so now that I'm thinking about it, I think the reality override might have a flaw if if Schrodinger's ability is used at its proper usage, I guess. That's assuming that he has his ability, but if anyone's actually seen the show, um, that's kind of how he lost, but then came back. <clears throat> it's weird, but yeah, it, 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 it definitely, I can definitely see that being a factor. But uh, without going too far with that, Alucard basically being the fuck mothering vampire that he is, uh, he killed a lot of people to get that title. By the way, he killed a lot of fucking people. It's not even. Funny, my god. I mean, he might think it's funny. Yeah, well, he because literally told God to fuck himself. This, <laughs> because this version of Alucard, I heard, is going to be voiced by our favorite Canadian, Takahata 101. Oh, thank god, we needed this. <laughs> oh, I, I, I still felt empty ever since we finished watching uh, uh, Helsing Abridged. I know. Uh... Well, I guess we'll get this little uh, a little hand me down now. So, what can Alucard do uh, besides being the fuck mothering ultimate vampire there? He Everything. Is. Um, so he's not even a traditional vampire himself. He's literally a he's just a vampire god. Like he, his body isn't even like f just flesh and blood. It's as it's it's just it's it's ethereal in its own sense. Like, yeah, you could sever it, but it won't even regenerate like it's blood. It's just, like, it's just reality fixing itself. Which alone is just a bizarro nature. And at the same time, when trying to figure out how much... If he were a boss battle, and his health bar would be gargantuan. And, and, and it would basically be based on how many souls he has. Because how many, how many people has he killed? A fuck mothering amount of them. <laughs> And good. It was like three million, I yeah. think, was the, was the final count in um, a bridge, but I don't really know. Yeah, and eh, I, I, I could definitely see that. Um, about three million, but yeah. Um, and each one is literally can just be a scapegoat hit for any mortal wound that he would take, and. He could just do it three million times. It's like it's Link. Ha if Link just had his heart screen just filling up like multiple TVs on the side, 
it's not even it's it's actually it is hilarious but wow it just understand and, and as they put it his healing factor is just is just bullshit <laughs> His I know weapons. it's hilarious coming from me, but his powers are bullshit. And his weapons are just as fucking crazy. You got, uh, they already explained it more better in the death battle, uh, but, um, uh, the, uh, basically one of them is an anti-vampire gun, and the other one is basically just, um, a super hand cannon. <laughs> mm-hmm. So not only are they, uh, blessing things to death, but they're also just removing them from existence with the other. And on top of that, and I said before, not only can he just use his uh, the souls that he uses as scapegoats to to take for himself, but he can have them literally fight for him. He has summoned literal armies of just bloody trenches of warriors that he has taken on his own. That he probably he definitely impaled <laughs> personally. Or just hung around and ate them when everyone else killed them. Yeah, true. That is true. That, that, I forgot exactly about that. that. He kind of, he doesn't even have to be the killer. He can just just chill there and just kind of just snag the the soul. And he's like yoink. And that being said, he can also use the abilities of certain uh, warriors that he used, um, like the other the artificial vampires. Once he took their souls. Um, he literally was using their weapons, their tactics, their everything. He just, he, they were just his slaves, so he could just use them as he wished. Like, um, Luke Valentine, um, I forget what the card guy was called. And, um, I can't remember, I can't remember the names right now. Oh yeah, and then yeah, uh, 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 Rip Van Winkle. (laughs) I still think she somehow. I still think she enjoyed Thank that. You. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just remember as, as the girl that was singing. I know it's the abridged version, but I just know as the girl that was Rick rolling everyone, <laughs> literally. <laughs> but yeah, and I'm kind of curious if they're gonna mention Alucard's uh, choice of transportation. I'll let you take it. <laughs> oh, the Rocky S saw seventy one black. A long range strategic reconnaissance aircraft capable of Mach three at an altitude of eighty five thousand feet. How do you know all this? Because my mind in high school was a complete sponge that I used for the wrong reason. <laughs> At least you still graduated college. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, enough of our personal lives. <laughs> uh, Freak of nature can... And actually, if I'm not mistaken, not only, he even brought his coffin in, in, and left it in the Blackbird, right? Like, he brought a piece of his home soil into that thing. So that thing was actually a part of him at one point. I think he had to so he could travel across water. Yeah. So he needs that in order to get across water because he can't swim. Um, do we know if he can handle the sun? Because I know Dio can because that because that's one of the few weaknesses of the of the of the vamp, I mean, of vampirism gonna, that has to deal I'm gonna, with. I'm gonna assume he can. They never really explored that, or maybe they did, but only kept it in probably like a few words and didn't really go any farther with it because vampires, um, son, no. I was like, okay. <clears throat> I mean, I do. I mean, to be fair, it is literally based off of Bram Stoker's writing, and that's exactly how they're supposed to die by the freaking uh, sunlight. So I definitely wouldn't be surprised. Um, I'm not. I sure. mean, he was he was out in the sun when he went to Brazil. He did have a big hat. I know, but you're still in the sun. True, true. It was in the sun, and and a big, and you know what? The big, big Jesus wanted a hug. I'm surprised that alone didn't fucking do any damage to him in a holy sense. It's like the shadow of Jesus just burning out a vampire. He's just like, whoo, spicy. But yeah, um, I'm still trying to find that number. I'm I'm convinced it's three million, but um that being said, I can't um I still say Alucard could win unless Deal pulls that bullshit. And if he does Which, pull that bullshit, the uh uh the world over heaven. <clears throat> and if he does pull that bullshit, 
then the only way Alucard could even retort to that would be using Scrodinger's ability. At the same time, would probably hurt him at the same time, but... I say that... Yeah, excuse me. At the same time, would probably hurt him. Well, at least pretty much give up his souls, because it's definitely like a last resort type of ability, because it literally just makes him... Like I said, uncertain reality. So it's kind of hard for a deity to even target him. <laughs> yeah, it's like either they give him the ability, or he somehow gets it halfway through the fight. Yeah. So unless they're fighting in Jerusalem for some weird reason, and they're just gonna say he's all over the place, I don't know. I really don't know where they could go with this. It's literally <laughs> and another thing, Alucard will definitely notice um, the stand. Being the type of ability, because supposedly they're invisible unless you're a stand user yourself. Um, he's definitely going to figure that out real quick. Um, yeah. Would he be able to figure out and counter the world ability? Yes, because it's not just an instant use. He literally has to say the world in order to activate it. Give it a couple times, unless Dio figures out how to kill him on the first shot, which, let's be honest, is not going to be possible. No. Um, 3,420,000. 3,424,867 souls. Yeah, that's how many times Dio has to try to kill him. Good fucking luck. Uh, he's going against Dracula. He's going to impale him on the biggest spire in existence. And it's going to be a beautiful sight. So yeah, right now my money is on Alagard because of course it is. I want Alagard. Alagard he just wants a hug. Oh, he's going to give Dio the biggest hug ever. Oh, God, he becomes Jesus. He gets the Jesus body, and then that's how, and that's how, and that's how he beats him. Oh, that's actually true. He has to say the world over heaven in order to activate the ability. So by the time he gets to that point, Alucard will figure that out and might be able to kill him in time, if he at least be able to shut him up or sever his hands. That's another thing. If you can, you can find a way to destroy his arms, then the ability is basically un, not usable. I mean, he did it to uh, Anderson. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, he, well, Alucard already had a piece of, uh, of, of Jesus in a fight. He had to take on the nail with his blood on it, and now he has to take on someone who has his whole fucking body. So, it will be a difficult feat for him, but I have a feeling he could pull it through. He can definitely, if he figures it out about the stand, when he's like stopping time or whatever, if he figures that, if he puts two and two together and not get five, he can win. Oh, yeah. So, I don't know about you, but I'm convinced. I think Alucard's going to win. I want Alucard to win. I'm going to go with Alucard, but I don't know why I think Dio's going to win in the end. I don't care. I'm, my, 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 I'll always be on Alucard's side. I, t team Takahata, I don't care. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, you heard us. We we we're we're putting our money down on our boy Alucard, and Dio is going to just going to get snapped right back to the next dimension. Also, another thing. Sure, Dio has all those abilities, but if you also damage or kill his um stand, he gets affected too. So if you can find a way to really fuck up the stand really well, that's it. Doesn't matter what Dio got, he's done. All right. Well, that being said, so we're definitely going to go with Alucard taking the win on this one. And I cannot wait to watch it. And I know you guys can't wait either. So thank you for joining us on Deviant Dario. I'm Infinite One. And you have a wonderful night. We're going to go watch some Hell Bridge. Yeah. <laughs>